Today is June 10th, and today's quote is entitled, What's Necessary for Our Advancement? Try to see how unfavorable circumstances and dealings are necessary to purify us. In other words, with some minimal punishment, Krishna is releasing us from material existence. Advanced devotees see Krishna's hand in everything. This is a quote from Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. I didn't make it up. What is he saying? Krishna loves us. Krishna wants us to go back to Godhead. We discussed that a few days ago. How does Krishna do it? Well, Krishna knows we can be quite complacent. Krishna knows we need some pushing. And sometimes and oftentimes, if not all the time, pushing will come through some difficulty, some situation which is causing us problems. In some way, it's causing us to realize that we can't be happy in the material world even though we want to be. And that situation is just making things so difficult that it's pushing us towards Krishna. Now, what I like about this quote is if you analyze what Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is saying, he's saying, these things are needed. So we can't think that Krishna is being unkind to us because he's giving us what we need to get closer to him. And so if you see it that way, say, okay, thank you, Krishna, because I was going this way, and now you're pushing me this way. And if you didn't push me this way, if you didn't create this situation to push me this way, I probably would still be going that way because I'm not that smart, or my heart is weak, I'm prone to sense gratification. So you've just done enough. What Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is saying, Krishna will do just enough. He won't. Krishna's not going to cause you to suffer more than you have to. Krishna doesn't want to see us suffer. So he's just going to do enough. Okay, Krishna knows, well, if I just do this, that will turn us around. So I'll just do that, just enough. Maybe it's unpleasant. Maybe we wish it wouldn't have happened. But if we're intelligent in our clearer moments, we'll realize, yeah, that was good. I needed that. So Krishna pushes us. It's kind of a little light tap, maybe a little slap in the face. It doesn't really hurt that much. We won't get sore, but just enough. And so then he ends this by saying something really nice and really sweet, saying that's not much of a price to pay to go back to Godhead. Krishna is just giving you just enough trouble to get you back to Godhead. Like, I'll just give you this bitter medicine, but... Not too bitter, but just bitter enough to cure you. We'll do the minimal dose, but the dose will work. So Krishna's giving you the minimal dose to get you back to Godhead, and so you can thank him. Well, that's not a lot to pay, because I would have gone this way and ended up staying in the material world. So Krishna, thank you for pushing me this way through some tribulations, through some trials, through some difficulties, but it wasn't really much. His kindness is just to give you enough. And then we think, thank you. That really wasn't that bad. And that's not really a high price to pay for going back to Godhead. Thank you, Krishna. I know if I'm sincere and I deviate, you'll always be there to like, just push me a little, give me a little problem here or a little problem there and get me back on the track. Thank you. I, I, can, I can deal with that. That's not a lot to pay to get out of the material world. And I know my tendency for material enjoyment is so strong that unless you ruin some of my, oh, how should we, I don't want to say ruin my plans in general, but unless when I deviate, you cause me to end up running into a dead end or cause some problem so... I realized that was the wrong thing. I'll probably just still go that way. So thank you for making my plans for sense gratification not work out. Thank you for doing that. Because if they did work out, I might think, I don't really need you. Everything's fine. But you're showing me that it doesn't work out. You're showing me that I need you. 
And it's putting me back on the right track. Thank you for doing that. Not a big price to pay to go back to Godhead. 